Netflix, to a certain extent, was allowed to fail and fail very publicly because it had Breaking Bad. It was allowed to fail with Hemlock Grove because it had friends in the office. Right? And so now they have this well-oiled machine. Every other Netflix miniseries is a hit, and no one thinks otherwise. It's like, oh, of course, the great television behemoth. They're putting out the new Martin Scorsese movie. There were many bumps along the road. It's hard to find hit television shows. They don't just fall from trees. This idea that you can just start a television network out of thin air because you have the money and you have star power attached is completely untrue. HBO has been doing this for 30 years. AMC has been doing this for 20 years. The networks have been doing it for 60 to 70 years, NBC, CBS, ABC, and they're even struggling to find a show that resonates with people. It's hard to make hit television shows. You can't choose what your hits are. You can't choose Stranger Things. Stranger Things has to choose you. So this is going to be a long gestating period, right? It's going to take a while for Apple to find its footing. But as look, I, I watched three of these premieres. I did not watch the premiere of Dickinson. Uh, I watched the morning show. I watched For All Mankind. I watched C with Jason Momoa. Um, I thought one of them was very entertaining and I will continue to watch. I found one kind of boring but watchable and I found the third one horrendous. Uh, I expected about that level of quality. I didn't expect any more because at the end of the day, I understand this is a premium service that Apple is charging a small price for that's meant to sell iPhones. That's what this is. Apple had a billion dollars lying around. They said, eh, we might as well use it to make original programming. And we can use it to up iPhone sales. We can use it to up iPad sales. We're going to give you a year of Apple TV Plus free the second you buy an Apple device. That's the purpose of this. It is not Apple's bread and butter. It is a premium service on top of its already existing cash cow, which is the technology. Right? It's a hardware company, not a software company. And for a hardware company that has no experience making television shows, I was fairly impressed.